You probably know what a game engine is. All of your favorite games are made using these tools. They handle all the various aspects of making a game, things like graphics, audio, physics and so much more. But what does it take to make one yourself? I'm gonna be honest, my engine only scratches the surface of what a fully fledged game engine does. It only handles the graphics side of things and it doesn't even use your GPU. That's right, the whole thing is in software and it's written in Java. Now you might be thinking it's slow, well more on that later, but now let's see how it started. Before diving into any complex details, the most important thing we should know is that a game, just like a movie, consists of frames. These individual frames are being drawn continuously to produce what seems like a smooth animation for us. Considering we've got enough frames per second, of course. Anyway, first we need a window to draw things on, and an update loop to do it every frame, which will essentially create frames as discussed earlier. Ok, now let's draw something. What I have here is the simplest thing you can draw on screen. This is some random noise, and this works by setting every pixel to a random color every frame. What this does is it proves us that we can set pixels now. And if we can do that, we can draw anything we want. For example, here's how to draw a simple rectangle. And using this method, I put together this simple demo. This does look very cool, and I was about to be done with the project, but then I saw this video. Now I have to add 3D. This is what I came up with, but you can probably tell this is wrong. The perspective is not right at all, and the camera is not behaving. For example, here's a comparison of how it looks in my engine and Blender. After rage quitting the project and coming back at it a month or so later, I fixed it and this is how it looks now. But we can finally move on to other things, such as a programmable shader pipeline. Just to be clear, my shaders are not going to be actual shaders, because again, I'm making this engine in software. I'm only going to crudely replicate what an actual graphics pipeline like OpenGL would do. Anyway, a shader is going to be an abstract class that has a fragment function, and just like in an actual pixel shader, this will run for every pixel and return a single color for that pixel. Before doing that though, we need a triangle rasterizer. This one took me the most time, and to this day it doesn't work properly. Turns out making a proper rasterization engine while also keeping it optimized is very hard. I used this website to make my rasterizer and a couple of other tutorials I found online, including this playlist which actually gave me this whole shader idea. The end result is we can draw triangles now and use shaders that we can plug in and out to change the appearance of the triangles conveniently. Believe it or not, this is actually all that you need to make a graphics engine. Apparently 3D graphics is all about drawing flat shapes on a screen in a way that tricks your brain into thinking it's looking at something 3D. Mind blowing, I know. That's why in OpenGL you start by making that classic Hello World triangle, and I should have done that first. At this point, I just kept adding more things to the rasterizer, so that we can make better shaders that are more advanced. The last thing I added before being done with the project was scene management. A scene holds a list of props, which is a name for objects in my engine, and a list of lights to apply lighting to those props. Here's how it works. Every scene needs to derive from the base scene class, and add props or lights to the scene, or perform some kind of logic in its update loop. Once our scene is ready, we can add it to the scene manager with a name, and call the load function with the name of the scene we want to render, which will in turn instantiate a new instance of that scene. And lastly, to actually draw the scene, we should call the render active scene method inside the application loop. It is a pretty basic setup, but it allows us to add multiple objects with as many lights as we want. So let's make a cool looking scene. You've probably already noticed the low frame rate in the previous clips. I did everything I could to fix the performance issues. At first, I just optimized the code a bit, then I changed a lot of stuff from texture sampling to the way triangles interpolate data. Nothing seemed to work well enough. My last solution was making rasterization multi-threaded. What this basically means is every time a triangle is being processed, multiple threads are working on different parts of it in parallel, similar to how it works on GPU. And so I added multi-threading. Uh, hmm. Not only is this a mess, but the performance is somehow even worse now. I was pretty burned out after all that failure, so I just left it as is. And at the moment, it runs very poorly even on 360p. 
After almost a year of coding, we've got a terribly inefficient engine that can barely draw graphics from the 90s. Was it worth it? I'd say yes. Even though I'm probably never gonna use this engine, I've learned a lot about graphics while making this project, and if you find that valuable, I'd say give it a go. If you want to use this engine for whatever reason, you can find the link to the GitHub repo down in the description. I even added a small wiki if someone decides to use this for some reason. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Maybe I'll come back to this project to optimize that at some point. Drop a like if that's something you'd wanna see, and maybe consider subscribing. Okay, bye.